this demonstration we're going to look at publishing a secure website and we're going to do that with the web application proxy role service so what i've done here is i've come to my remote access server and the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm just going to add some roles so in server manager i'm just going to go to add roles and features then what we'll do is select next at the, before you begin on the installation type we are going to install role based or feature based and we are going to do it on this server then what we're going to do here just on the roles is we're going to come down to remote access click on the arrow and we're going to select web application proxy next thing to do is select our next button not going to bother with any additional features so we'll select next and then we'll select install to install this role so what we'll do is we'll just leave this running and return back once the installation is complete so the installation is now complete so all we'll do at this point here is we'll select close so that's done the next thing to do is now to obtain a certificate for our application that we're going to use with the proxy service so what we're going to do here is just launch up our microsoft management console into certificates we've gone with local computer we've gone to personal we've gone to certificates and at this point here all we're going to do is right click go to all tasks and we're going to request a new certificate that'll then bring us into wizard so we'll select next on the before you begin then what we'll do on the select certificate enrollment policy all we're going to do at this point here is select next and then what we're going to do here is we're just going to select the datum web certificate and then what we'll do is we'll click on the more information is required to enroll the certificate and we'll just start filling out the table so what we're doing here is under the type we've gone for common name under subject name and we've typed in adfs1.adapen.com and we'll select add then what we're going to do here is we're going to fill out some information relating to the alternative name and we're going to have the type as dns and the value would be adfs1.adapen.com so we'll select add then what we're also going to do as well is we're just going to add another value for dns and we've entered that as enterprise registration and we'll select add and what we'll do here is we'll have one more value and we're going to have that as lon hyphen serve one and we'll select add now we've done all of that we'll just make sure that everything is correct and the next thing to do at this point here is select ok and then select enroll So this point here we've succeeded in enrollment so we'll just select our finish button next thing to do is we just need to actually assign this certificate to our website on our lon serve one box so we'll just close down this microsoft management console and what we'll do here is we'll move over to lon serve one so coming in is manager we've got a site default website we're going to come to bindings and then what we're going to do here is we're going to select the add button and what we're going to do here in the type is we're going to click on the drop down we're going to go for https and then in the host name we just need to fill out the host name and we fill that in as lonserve1.adapen.com then all we do here under ssl certificate click on the little drop down here and we'll go for lonserve1.adapen.com now we'll do here select ok and select close next thing to do is now configure our web application proxy so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our remote access server and configure the web application proxy so we're coming to tools and all we're going to do here is we're going to go for remote access management it's telling us that an instance is already running so i must already have it running which i do so what we're going to do here is we're going to go for web application proxy then from within here what we're going to do here is just run the config wizard on the welcome page we'll select next then what we've got here is the federation server page so we just need to fill out some information and we'll fill that in as federation service name is adfs onedapencom under the username is administrator and we specify the password and now what we'll do is select next 
Then what we need to do is just fill out the proxy certificate. So we'll click on our little drop down, and what we're going to do here is go for the adfs onedimcom Now that we've done that, we'll select next. Then just on the confirmation page at this point here, we'll have a quick read through, make sure everything is correct. Then what we'll do is we'll select configure. As we can see, the web application proxy was now configured successfully. So we'll select close at this point here. The next thing to do now is publish our internal website. So what we're going to do here through remote access management, we're just going to click on the publish button. That'll bring us into wizard, so we'll select next. Then what we'll do here is on the pre-authentication, what we're going to do here is we're going to do pass through. So we'll do no pre-authentication and select next. Then on the publishing settings, all we need to do is fill out our table. So we're going to specify this as lonserve one web External URL will be https colon forward slash forward slash lon hyphen serve one dot dot com. We're going to use the ADFS one certificate and the backend server will be https colon forward slash forward slash lon serve one dot 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 com. We'll then select the next button. Then on the confirmation page, we'll select publish. And that has now been published successfully, so we'll select the close button. Next thing to do here is just configure our internal website authentication. So we'll just go to the web server. In IIS Manager, come to our default website, we're just going to go for authentication. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to enable Windows authentication. And we're going to disable anonymous authentication. Next thing to do is just actually verify that this is going to work. So what we'll do here is we'll just go to our client machine. So our client machine is a member of a work group. We're going to log in as admin on this machine here. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to launch up Internet Explorer. Now within Internet Explorer, we're then going to connect through to our website. So what we'll do here is We'll just enter in our lonserve1.dm.com and all we'll do here is we'll hit the enter key. We're expecting the certificate error because my CA is not trusted on this machine, so we'll just continue this website. Then at this point here, we'll just log in as a user called Bill. And we have access to the default website, so the IIS website. So what we've done here is we have published this website securely via our remote access server. That's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.